Hi guys, welcome back to Motorsport Manager. Now, I've, as you can see, this is next race in eight days. Normally it says 24. I've pushed it forward a little bit. I want to try and keep the episode a little bit shorter. Um, just means things a little bit easier for you guys and it helps with my upload speed. So we've got a, uh, a politics vote we've come in on. Um, it's about getting time, points for the top five. Now, I'm going to vote against, of course. Um, I should imagine that most teams will vote against. But I'm only going to use one voting power. So let's push for that one then. Because I want to use my extra voting power. So we could have just not even bothered voting that. So we won't have to worry about next season. Uh, always good. I am developing some more new parts, some more new uh, suspension. In fact, we're about to finish one here. Um, we'll go check that out in just a second. So let's go to improved parts first. So reliability performance has been completed on certain things. Now this new suspension here, we're going to try and get... So red zone's massive, okay, we won't do that. We'll carry on using these suspensions. Uh, we'll try and get these up to max level. Um, one day after race, no, no, if we keep that there. So we should be able to get that suspension up to full whack. Or at least as close to before the race. Um, I'm not too worried about the rest of things. And after this point, it's just wor worrying about getting performance up. So, like with the engine, the illegal engine we built, uh, getting that up to full strength. Um, another bit of scouting: Jacques Villeneuve is fucking 46. Is a modelling tryout. <laughs> what really? Him? Okay. Uh, let's go back to the car. Let's design some new parts. So we should. There we go. Lovely stuff. So we're going to make an illegal part for next season, of course. So we're going to take the maximum speed plus 50. Uh, plus 40 to max. We'll take that as well. I guess 25 to max. So next season, we'll have a pair of 231 suspension. That's not bad. Not bad. It's cost us a fair bit of money, but I'm happy with that. Our top speed, our engines have gone down in performance. Not being funny. It's going to happen. Uh, other, other You're right, there, wife. Other <laughs> okay. Okay, fair enough. She's fine. Um, on the top speed, obviously, other in, other, basically other cars are going to start building other cars. Other designers are going to start building more engines, basically. Um, so we're looking to go down. We've basically hit our our peak, basically, for this season, I should imagine. Uh, we do stand, let's have the standings, we do stand fourth. We've got 44 points. We're quite a way ahead of other drivers. These are, they're actually doing a lot better than I thought they would, these, uh, these teams down here. Um, so maybe we aren't guaranteed fourth. Like I've been saying, who knows? We'll, we'll figure things out as it goes. Uh, Abelé, yeah, Yanfe Abelé, or Abelet, I don't know. Yeah, she's, she's bad at DRS. Yeah. Uh, mechanics complaining. Okay. Dilemma. I've heard a few rumblings from some of the mechanics that they're not happy working in a factory. They do have quite long hours. What should I tell them? Give them all a bonus or deal with it. Now, I think deal with it getting mechanic relationships down by five. I mean, it would deal with it. It's half a million pounds. I'm, I'm not going to spend out half a million pounds on keeping some mechanics happy. You're, you're paid. They're getting paid to do a job. They're getting paid fucking well, I might add, to do a job. And when I say fucking well, I mean, look, let's go to the staff. So per race, 65 grand, 78 grand, 325 grand per race. There's 10 races a season. He's getting 650 grand a season. He's getting 780 grand a season. He's getting 3.25 million a season. Fucking deal with it. You cheeky cunts. Financial management concerns. Oh, fuck off, Wang. I'm going to get some sponsors through soon anyway. Get some big ones, hopefully, too, the way things are going. So, the fawny has got meditating. Um, he met a swami. What should we read this round? Uh, Formula E Championship driver Max Tafani has revealed that he's begun meditating to help relax himself before a race. I met a Swami while I was travelling around India, said the 18-year-old Belgian driver. He really turned me on to meditation in the way it can soothe your mind. Some drivers out there might, might like to sit in a simulator. Some might like to just go to sleep. But I find meditation is the best way to keep my nerves down. Whatever, mate. Whatever works for you. As long as you uh, get better, I don't mind. How are we looking out? If fair is exposed for another 13 weeks. Meditation's there for 20 weeks. So we've still got to deal with this fucking affair that you had, mate, which is really annoying. Because your cornering, breaking, consistency have all been shit for a while. Um, 
and you've taken a knock there. I think at this point we're going to have to take the 100,000 just because it's money. We're not going to get the 400,000, I don't think. I know we did it last race, but we were starting to struggle. And now our third best engine is now fourth best. So, yeah, starting to struggle just a bit. Um, but it's, it's, all, it's all things that need to be done. One second, I'm going to go. I'm just going to go off camera just for a sec. Haha, <laughs> back. Before I get my phone charged. I was watching. There we go. Fine and dandy. So, Milan, it's looking a bit overcast, looking a bit grey. No rain, no, no, no such fucking luck. Let's get this car set up, sorted out. Fuck me, it's a bit loud for me. I think that's a bit loud. Um, I normally do the rear wing. I don't know why. I'm just going to go to the front wing for this one round. Um, Handling's pretty much where I need it to be. Top speed. Hopefully we're going to have to come down on top speed. I don't think we're going to be able to do too much otherwise. I'm going to take the mediums. And then for Tafoni. With Tafoni we do that. And that handling. we we'll have to come this way a little bit. Speed balance got a little bit longer. And you can have mediums as well. So let's get going. Let's get this practice underway. So, I'll send you out, mate. On a race trim, 12 laps worth. 12 laps worth. Um, and then you, Defawny, as well. You are already on the race trim, that's fine. Off you go, mate. No fucking around. Let's get out there. So I still need to turn this down for myself. It's too fucking loud. There we go. So, yeah, so we've been doing really well this season so far. We've had some decent. I, mean, I think we've had every single race so far, we've got points, and I think. I think three of the races so far. Gomez has got points, or is it two? My point is, we're doing a lot better than expected. A lot better than expected. I'm thinking that the other teams around us are probably going to um, start struggling as well, like the lower teams. So I don't think they're going to pick up as many points now. I might be wrong. I might be really, really fucking wrong. But I don't think they're going to pick much up in the way of points after this. So I am doing this very, very early on, guys. I know that. But after the uh, mini panic I had in the last race, I want to make sure that we're doing this well. Let's go to oversteer, and I think we'll take longer first. Yeah. All right, so you're off out. Let's get you on that as well. Same tyres. Now, downforce. Let's go this way first. Handling-wise, don't want to go too far off on the handling. I think that should do the job handling wise. So let's get them out. At least I'm hoping that'll do the job handling wise. I'd be very surprised if it didn't. So, how are we doing? We've got level 1 for race trim and medium tyres. That's good. I haven't got a finished lap yet. I want some feedback, guys. Give me some knowledge. Give me some knowledge, boys. That's all I'm after. All I'm after. Just talk to me. Talk to me. Aero. Blinders. Aero is feeling much nicer now. My wife decided to open the curtains. Probably should have opened them up earlier, but still blinded. Um, let's get both drivers in. Have a look. See how they're feeling now. So Gomez isn't happy with his handling. That's the kind of thing you need to tell me, mate. All right. So Deforni is very poor, very poor, and great. So we've got his um, his gear set up nicely. It's just this handling. So let's go the other way on the handling. Let's go all the way back and do the same there. I'm guessing with the handling around about there. Should do the job. Eight laps, yeah. Medium tyres, right off you go. So we've got excellent on the aero for uh, for Gomez. Same tyres. Just get everything else sorted out now. So that handling needs to go the other way. So around about there, do we reckon? Yeah. And speed balance. Probably just a touch more into top speed. And that should do the job there. It really is blinding that sunlight. I don't do the sunlight. I'm not a vampire. 
I just burn very, very easily. Um, incredibly easy, actually. It's what you get when you're a pasty blonde white boy. You just get burnt all the time. Um, and I think our kid's going to do very well with me and, me and the wife. Uh, her being a pasty redhead and me being a pasty blonde boy. Our kid's just going to burn. They're going to be like crisps at the end of every day. So Gomez is happy with his handling. Um, Forney's not talking to me yet. He's happy with his arrow. Let's get these guys back in. We've got race knowledge. Uh, we've got level 3 on these trims, so we can get them out on qualifying trim, hopefully. So, excellent, great, great. That's fine. Let's get him on the qualifying trim, see if we can get some. Uh, and soft tyres. 96%. Do we want to just do that? Yeah, we do. Off you go, mate. Excellent, excellent, great. Good stuff. Qualifying trim. And softs. Car setup. I don't want to mess around too much, um, but that might get us to 97, you never know. Let's get these guys out ASAP, see if we can get some some knowledge dropped. Some knowledge bombs. So, now they've got faster motors, I say faster motors, now their setup is better, at least we think it is, we should just let these guys just run out. Um, I don't think we're going to get anything for qualifying or soft tyres, unfortunately. But it'd be nice to see if we can get a faster lap from 13th and 15th. I don't think we're going to. I think this is kind of at the point now where we're not going to be getting any points. I think this is kind of this point in the season where we're not going to be doing it. We'll find out, though. Find out. So, Gomez and the 40 both proved me wrong. I mean, I know we're gunning. I know we're absolutely fucking gunning, but they did prove me wrong there. That's good. That's good. So, first and third, only in practice. Uh, Natalie Pinkham here, uh, saying that we must be grinning from ear to ear. Well, I would be Natalie if it was Susie as opposed to you. Don't get me wrong. Both nice, but Susie. We didn't get the qualifying trim, we didn't get the soft tyres unfortunately, um, we do go with the medium and the sweetest soft, uh, sweet, soft, mm, the best, now we get the largest sweet spots, so excellent, great, excellent, so that little tweak was ideal, um, we'll take the softs, now a little tweak, really done fuck all, uh, we'll, we'll do another one, you never know, and we'll do the softs there as well, so let's get these guys both out, we will do uh, auto for Gomez, and we'll work on the clear air optimization for uh, the Forney ourselves. Okay, so around about here is it? There we go. See, starting to learn exactly where it is. So let's speed this right up. So I think that's when it gets to the S in the word speed up. I'm pretty sure that's what Mad Cheese Four told me. And then you smash it all the way down. Mate, fucking cracking one. Cheers. He knows his shit when it comes to clear air optimization. There's me going like this, constantly trying to micromanage the fucking thing. He's like, nah, just go fucking like that and then like that. Alright. Oh, and it works. Um we're not gonna be the fastest on this. Everyone's gunning it this time around. Um but hopefully we'll get a top ten. On the on the po on on the qualifying, so you never know. I don't think it's going to happen. We're getting smashed out of the way already. We're like three seconds slower than fucking Martin. He's not even going to be the fastest, I don't think. So I'm getting pushed all the way down. Only Vern has been slower than us so far, and Najiri. Vern and Najiri, the only ones slower than us. Let's get this sped up. Send him out again. 98%. Not really much different. Let's get you the same tyres, mate. The Forney. Let's go with these tyres. We're not going to really use softs with the Forney for this race, so I'm not too fussed about using up all of the tyres. Right, where's this optimization? There. Right. So we're down to 14th and 15th, which is roughly where I thought we were going to be anyway. Um, fuck me. 
Fucking doors, windy. Good and great. It's fine. Um, it's not going to be as fast as the last lap, but we're not expecting us to do much more, to be honest. Um, but, I mean, I'm at the point in the season where I'm thinking we're going to start losing traction on other teams anyway. As I said, we were doing so well because they were having to come in and fix parts as well. Yeah, so 14th, 15th. Um, they were having to come in and fix parts as well, which is why we were doing so well. Now they got their reliability up to scratch. It's not going to be the case. Um, plus, I'm not developing another engine. I'm not developing another suspension for this season. Uh, might do some brakes for this season, but I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, with regards to the engine, we basically got the best thing we can have for next season without making it illegal. Uh, obviously, the, the illegal side of things disappears next season. Same with the suspension. We can't do any better than what we've got. Um, so we may as well start look at, uh, looking at developing some new parts elsewhere. So because brakes are the next cheapest thing, I think we do brakes. Uh, gearbox will probably be better, but got to watch this money. Got to watch the money. I would like to have some money carry over for next season so that next season we can build um, a better factory. Definitely disappointed by qualifying. Good. I'm happy you're disappointed by it, but... We weren't going to do any more. Uh, I can't see Marcel Desailly this week, but I can see the triple jumper Jonathan Edwards talking about motorsport. It's raining. Ooh, 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 I couldn't have done this in qualifying. Uh, that rain's going to disappear very quickly by the looks of things, so I'm not even going to worry about inters. We're not having soft, so no, no, no. 36 laps, we're going to go mediums, 14 to 16. Fuel options, um, so 16 laps. We'll take 20. 20 laps of fuel. And here, um, that, those changes really didn't do anything, did they? Medium, and we'll go with 18 laps of fuel. We'll bring it to Forney in first, basically. To drive strategy, we're going to go attack and overtake, of course. A um, bit of a risk in the rain, but uh, got to be done. So we'll go with medium tyres and light foot. Just so that Gomez gets a little bit better on those and race trim medium tyres because we've got nothing else. Um, I seem to work for the Fournier in the last race. So, yes, I am sure, mate. I've seen what's going to happen. Martin, Daly, Munoz, Stroll and Prost leading the line. First five. So, I've got to try and get a decent... I don't think we're going to do well here in Milan. But, um, find out, won't we? I'm expecting a bit more from Gomez than I am from the for this race because of that medium... Um, Soft, soft foot or light foot or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Forney up into 11th, 10th. Gomez at the back of the pack, unfortunately. Now, no one, as you can see, no one has taken inters because they all know what's going to happen. It's all going to fucking start to disappear. So why were they winching at us saying we need to get inters on? I don't know. Don't know. Let's come back on these tyres. We'll carry on with the uh, the attacking driving. Um, the overtake mode, but we're not going to be an attacking sort of on the tyres. Fuck off. Fuck off. We're not coming in for inters, no matter what the drivers say. No one is going to come in for inters. No overtaking. Apt has crashed, so he's one of the top drivers. He's out already. Um, that is good. Makes that will mean we get a position more. Uh, <laughs> well, clearly. Uh, but the fact he's one of the better drivers going out is also nice to see. Uh, Gomez getting himself up, well he did anyway, there he goes, back up to 16. Defornia is losing out a few positions, but one of those things is going to happen. So Gomez is now up to 15 to having overtaken Jacques Villeneuve. Not being funny, Jacques Villeneuve is an old bastard now. Um, Defornia is dropping down to 14. Jacques Villeneuve is an old bugger now, his reaction times aren't going to be what they used to be. So I keep looking up at my fucking computer parts. I've still only got the two at the minute. Um, so, yeah. I've still only got the two. Hopefully there'll be some more things to pick up tomorrow. I'm expecting the SSD tomorrow. I'm expecting my HDD tomorrow. Um, so, yeah. So, Deforny up into 13th. Can Gomez take Mitch Evans as well? Villeneuve's locked up, so he's going to be falling back a little bit. No one coming into pit yet. As you can see, that rain is disappearing pretty much altogether. There's going to be a sector of low pressure soon, though, so I, I don't know. There may be a change in the weather relatively soon. Um, so Deforni's trying to take Heidfeld, apparently, but Gomez has taken Deforni. 
They've had a collision with each other. They've just had a collision with each other. <sighs> How? Our drivers have just collided with each other. Well, we might as well get new tyres on him. So, I can't bring him in at the same time. So, DeForney's going to have to go a little bit longer and then come in. Fuck's sake. Well done, Gomez. Well done. I wish you could find drivers. I wish you could find drivers because I would find him for that. <sighs> Fuck me. So, DeForney's going to fall back because he's got no spoiler, rear spoiler. So, he's going to fall to the back of the pack. Um, Gomez is going to fall to the back of the pack because, well, he's had to fix shit. It's beyond a joke, that is. Beyond a joke. How many times have we had to fix fucking arrows now? But three so far this season? We've had to do that three times? Unfucking believable. Right, so we need to push on these tyres. We're having the fucking pit. And you've got a drive through penalty as well, didn't you? Fucking joy. So we're even further behind now. Cheers, Gomez. Tosser. And now we're getting blue flags on lap eight. 91 seconds behind a pack. So that's this race done. I'll see you in the next episode. No, no. We'll see it through. We'll see what happens. You never know. Anything can happen in the next half hour. Good song, by the way, by uh, Enter Shikari. If you've not heard of Enter Shikari, you should go check them out. So we're unblue flagging ourselves. We're unlapping ourselves now. Uh, sort of. But we're really having to push. It's fucking annoying. I want I want to fucking find Gomez. I want to slap him. And look, we've got some rain coming in soon. So we've done this tyre change. And we're going to have to change the inters anyway. That is absolutely fucking dire. It's absolutely Kieran. By the way, Kieran Dyer, uh, footballer, not a very good one. Um, had promise, used to get injured a lot. Basically, got paid forty-five grand for playing, uh, forty-five grand a week for playing three games in a season for West Ham. Good job if you can get it. So our drivers are up into sixteenth and seventeenth. Gomez has obviously gone through the pit twice because he had a drive-through penalty, um, but we're still a long way behind everyone else. A long way behind everyone else. I don't think we're going to get anywhere. Uh, how's this weather looking? It's going up. It is going up, this weather. Oh, it's going to get a lot wetter than it did in lap two. But I don't know how much more, how much more rain we're going to have to worry about after that. Hopefully not too much. I'm hoping it's going to get to that lap. People are going to go in. They're going to go on inters. And then they're going to be fucked. Because it's going to dry out. That's what I'm hoping. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Uh, you're winching about the tyres. Well, maybe don't collide with your teammate next time, then, mate. That's pretty much it. You need you need to catch up. Desperately, you need to catch up. So don't winch about it. Same for you, mate. It wasn't your fault, but you need to catch the fuck up. So shut up now. Go attack. You need to really catch up. Looks like that's going to get pretty fucking wet as well at some point. So we might as well really attack on Forney's tyres. Get him onto Inters. And then send them out again. Uh, so lap 18. How many... Just out of curiosity. I'm not going to pit him just yet. We could get 18. We could potentially, once he's in, let him see it through. Jack Villeneuve coming in early on those on those inters. And again, I suppose if you're coming into pit, you might as well. Um, why is Deforni so slow? So Gomez up in the 13th. He's not struggling as much as Deforni is. Even though he's the one that caused the collision, wanker. Uh, he should gain himself another position here, going up into 12th. How are we looking with water on the track? I'm definitely going to want to go to Inters. Around about lap 18. Let's get both drivers attacking. So around about lap 18, we're going to bring in um, DeForney, and then the following lap we'll bring in Gomez. Or should we bring in? We'll bring in Gomez first at lap 18 and then DeForney, actually. Um, just thinking because DeForney is so much further up. I mean, DeForney's up in the uh, 15th now. Because Gomez is that much further up the track, he's got more chance of getting some points in this race. Um, and that is my theory behind it. So, 
He's not far off 11th, really, uh, Carroll. I think these drivers are probably going to start pitting any minute now. He's worrying about fuel. I shouldn't. Bring in to 40. We'll bring him to 41st. His tyres are looking pretty... His tyres are looking pretty terrible. So, let's go attack. Let's get you pitted. Get these inters on. 20 laps remaining, though. Fuck it. Part to find. We'll take a fast one. We might as well. We've got to risk it. So let's go back to Gomez at this point. Um, who we're going to get to push on his tyres. So once Defourney has pitted, we will pick Gomez. I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed. We're going to have to pit. We're going to have to pit Defourney again before the end of the race. So hopefully this rain is going to uh, like sort of back off a little bit, um, and we'll be able to get him in on Sank a little bit faster. So there goes Defourney. He's getting all of his fuel for the rest of the race. I've decided that he's just going to have all of his fuel. Tires, good. Out in 19th, unfortunately. So let's get Gomez in now. 19 laps remaining. No, he's going to go one more, I feel. So now we'll get Gomez in. We're going to have to see him out on these tyres. 23 laps worth of fuel. Yeah. Part to fine. Pit strategy will go with a balanced. But you know we'll go with a fast. I'm going to lose positions otherwise. Um, so let's get him attacking on these tyres. Actually, we need you to conserve those tyres and you need to go to attack. Because I want to see Tafourney see these tyres out if possible. But I can't see it happening. He's going to get fucking lapped by Gomez any minute now. Who's that in the pit? Heidfeld is in the pit. So Tafourney does go up in the 18th. Anyone else coming into pit? Najiri's probably going to have to come into pit and get some, get some other tyres on. PK Jr. and all that are still going around. Uh, dropping down to 12th. We're at wets now. Probably should have gone for wets as opposed to winters. But I'm looking at that weather. It doesn't really get much wetter than that. So. so he's down to 15th. Thorny's unlapping himself from uh, PK Jr. There's not really a whole lot I can do in this race, is the thing. Let's get Gomez to go neutral on these tyres. I need to see these tyres out, really. Because I want to one-stop it. at this point. For the rest of this match, I want to one-stop it. The rest of this match, the rest of this race, I want to just let him see out these tyres. Go conserve. Uh, everyone else will pit, I should imagine, before the end of the race. But hopefully we can just see it out. Keep pushing on the fuel. Um, I'll just have to keep an eye on the excess fuel. Drag it back if I have to. Hello, wife. Um... There, drag it back if I have to. Gomez is on the tail of Villeneuve there. Villeneuve's going to have to pit soon. His tyres are fucked already. Can't believe that. His tyres are completely fucked. Same as Vern. Both guys' tyres are knackered. Mm. Evans miles behind. Let's have a look at this weather. That is going to start... It's going to start backing up a little bit, that rain, um, at some point. I don't know how much, though. Thorny 17th. It's too far off. Far too much behind uh, Najiri to do anything. Gomez is starting to get in trouble. When the fuck did your engine get shitty? What have you done to your engine? We're going to have to pit him to get his fucking engine fixed. Fuck, I might as well change the tyres. See him out. Let's fix that. What the fuck happened to your engine? I want, I want to know what happened to his engine. Why it's suddenly gone bad. Because it was fine when we looked a little while ago, wasn't it? I'm sure it was. This race is a write-off. This race is an utter write-off. I don't want him colliding with Tafourney again. I can't believe that. Absolutely fucking can't believe that. Alright, let's go push on these tyres then. Let's get you caught up. Uh, Tafourney... What a fucking piss take. Absolute fucking piss take that is.
that is such a disappointing race. Still got 10 laps to go as well. It's so disappointing. How... Oh, I don't know what happened to his engine. I, don't even, I was looking at his engine and it was fine. It was like 60%. And now it's like 19. So we've had to fuck it. So De Forney up into 15th. He's just pulled ahead of Najiri. Um, no, just ahead of Villeneuve, sorry. Going to have to get him to push a little bit on his tyres if he wants to maintain that position. Probably will pit him at the end of the... Probably will pit him nearest the end of the race. Maybe get him out on softs. Um, gonna have to. Just can't see those tyres lasting out for another eight laps. Oh, fuck me. Fucking Gomez ruined us there. Absolutely fucking ruined us there early on. How can you collide with your own fucking teammate? I'm to just let Villeneuve past. I mean, I'm not expecting anything from this race now. Still, I've got something to cheer me up. I've got something to cheer me up, haven't I? I've got that to cheer me up soon. So, that and baby on the way. Ah. So I'm going out pretty much straight after this. We're going out for uh, a little while in a lovely weather. It's pretty nice out there, to be fair. I am going to burn, as I said. Pasty white boy will burn. Pasty redhead, she'll probably burn too. I have to get some sun cream on her. I rub, rub her in lotion. Um, don't know if she can hear me or not. I really can't tell. Um, we've got six laps to go. Now, how are we looking with this weather? Or oh, on a track. I'm thinking we bring in Defawny now. Get, yeah, we'll bring in Defawny. We might as well get him on the softs. Give him one lap of fuel. These will be fine. We'll take a risky fast one. And we'll just go like that. Let him see it out. Gomez will come in, this, well no, Gomez is going to see it out I think. Do we have people ahead of us who are within attacking distance? Not really. So let's go to Gomez. We're fucked up on the tyres. How far ahead are we of uh, Vern? We're not. We're not. We're just falling behind Vern. Okay. Going for that would have been alright. But he's just going to go attack, attack, attack. He's going to complain about his, in, his, uh, his tyres in a second. See? I know my things, I know my things, I know my stuff. But, after this lap's done, he should be coming to his element, really. Um, we'll keep this the same, I'm not going to do anything else with Gomez. I want to see Defawny start attacking any minute now, though. I think we're too far behind to make any real progress. But we might be able to get back up to 16th with him. So, it depends how long Carol goes in for, we might be able to do anything there. I'm not doing anything with your engine, mate. How have you managed to get it down that low? I mean, I do push these engines hard, which is probably one of the reasons why. But um, it's like this: the the overtaking mode really puts a strain on the engine, but it shouldn't have put that much of a strain on the engine. Nowhere near. Don't worry about your tyre, Deg. You've got like three laps to do on the softs. You should start catching up with everyone. I say everyone. You should be catching up with a lot of people. Fuck me, Heidefeld's like 30 seconds ahead of him now. But Heidefeld's going to have to pit. You can see that. He won't. But he's going to have to. Um, he's going to pit. He's going to pit, really. Fucking hell. We might be able to get 17th back off Heidfeld. I don't think we're going to get 16th back off Vern. I can't even see Vern. Vern's like nearly a full lap around us. Um, we do go up into 18th. Do I push on these tyres with Gomez a bit more? He's got two laps to go. Should probably not. Probably pull neutral on these tyres. Didn't need the extra lap worth of fuel when we filled it up, but... One of those things. Now, because I think both of these drivers have been lapped, um, or we certainly will be both lapped in a minute, uh, I don't think we're going to get any further ahead. So it's going to be the final lap. Yeah, final lap. So as soon as um, the Forney crosses the line, that's his race over. So he's not going to improve. He's in 17th. Um, I'm sure he's been lapped. I'm sure he has. If Gomez has been lapped, then I'm sure defawney has been lapped. So, should be the end of the race. No, it's not. He's got to go one more. Okay. What about Gomez? Gomez has got to go one more lap then, hasn't he? Yeah, no. Gomez 15th. Okay. So, 15th and 17th. 
Now, how far back did that pit put us when we broke our... So, obviously, Gomez got a drive through penalty, which didn't help. He also fucked up the fucking spoilers for both cars, and that was easily a 40-second fix. So, realistically, we could have been looking at 10th and 11th for that race. Well, 10th and 13th for that race is what we should have been at. But, obviously... Gomez, mate. I want to find him. I want to find him. Can we add the ability to find drivers, please, to this game? And that's someone at the door. Right, that's going to be the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.